In step 5 of the calibration, we need to measure the 3D extent of the sandbox, uh, or rather the sand surface, and uh, for that we are using not raw Connect Viewer, but actually Connect Viewer, which will show us the, uh, the 3D reconstruction of the surface um, as observed. So you see that here is again the, uh, the flat floor, and there is a little bit of chair sticking out of there here. Um, so what we have to do now uh, is uh, measuring the 3D coordinates of the four corners of this trapezoid that the camera can see um, in, uh, in camera space. And for that we need a 3D measurement tool, but the tricky little bit is that we are going to use the mouse to make those measurements, and the mouse is a 2D input device, so we first need to tell the program how to map that 2D input device into 3D space. And in this particular case, we are going to map the mouse so that it moves as a 3D device in the screen plane. So we have to stack two tools on top of each other, one tool to project the mouse position and then the actual measurement tool. And as in step number four, I'm going to put both of those tools uh, on the one key. So let's first get the transformation tool. Uh, I'm going to press and hold one and then select transformer mouse screen projector from the tool selection menu and let go of one. This will create the proper tool, but because it can have any number of buttons, I need to just press one again to confirm that this is the only button I want to use. So now we have that taken care of. So now the mouse uh, moves in the screen plane. And then by pressing and holding one again, I can now go to utility and create uh, finally a measurement tool. So that will uh, attach the measurement tool, will open the measurement dialog. We want to measure positions here. We want to measure in navigational space. That's important. I'm going to put that down here to the corner. Uh, and so now the tricky bit is um, we have set up the mouse so that it measures in the screen plane. So now we just have to get the actual sand surface um, into the screen plane. And there are multiple approaches, but the easiest one is to um, well, all of them use the, the crosshairs that show up whenever I press the left mouse button um, or the, uh, the Z key. So the, the crosshairs indicate the screen plane. And you can see here how, the screen, how part of the surface is uh, in front of the screen plane and part of it is behind. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to press and hold Z and then drag the mouse in order to get the intersection of the, the center point of the crosshairs directly onto um, the, the 3D surface and then let go. And so now I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make it easier. Uh, and so now the, uh, the surface is already the center point of the surface is in the screen plane. So now I just have to rotate the surface using the left mouse button until it lines up with the crosshairs. And here you can see how I'm rotating it so that just you know part of the crosshairs is in front of it, part of it is behind. Don't have to be super precise about this here. Uh, that should about do it. Uh, and now I can just use the measurement tool to go to the four corners in counterclockwise order. We are starting with this one, then that, then that, then that. And by pressing and holding one, uh, I'm creating a measurement marker. I can now, as long as I keep one pressed, I can drag that around, put it approximately into the corner here, let go, and we have the first measurement. So here are the X, Y, Z um, components of that position, minus 34, 25, 60. The good news is you don't have to write this down. Uh, the measurement dialog, or the measurement tool rather, saves all of its measurements into uh, a file. It's called measurement tool 0001.txt normally. It's numbered. Um, so you can just later on open that file uh, and copy the four measurements into the sandbox layout file. So I'm just going to continue doing that. Put another measurement marker right here, another one up here in the corner, uh, and the last one over here in the corner, and that was it. Uh, so now, again, when we stop the program, uh, we can open the measurement tool, then some number dot text that was just created, uh, and we can copy the four uh, coordinates that was were measured into the box layout file. That was step number five.